so this pawn here is going to represent the <clears throat> brutally tortured Githzere that you uh, quote unquote rescued. Oh well, we definitely rescued him. But he is currently strapped to a stretcher. Mm-hmm. And he can't move of his own power. So the question is, where do you guys have him at the moment? I mean, I'm pretty sure Serenity was carting him around. Yeah, I was, I was carrying him, carrying uh, him with Serenity. Right, but now monsters have appeared from around the corner. These terrible skeletons. They're skeletons. We're just gonna talk to them. Yeah, they're not monsters. Where's, where's our dustman? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? So the lights in the tower, where the they had been previously uh, lightly illuminated, uh, all of the lights went dim, and you start hearing a sucking sound from the center of the pool as the water is all drained out of it. And from around these corners to the south, where previously there were solid walls, four skeletons appear, and these skeletons don't have uh, they're humanoid sized. But they don't have appendages, per se. They don't have, like, standard human arms. What they seem to have uh, instead are huge, long, uh, curved bones going from about their shoulder area all the way down to their pelvis. They don't have a standard rib cage either. They look like they've been taken apart and put back together wrong. Uh, okay. So we should probably roll some initiative. How do we know that they weren't always supposed to be like this? I think you're being very judgmental. I can be judgmental. They're my monsters. I am literally judge, jury, and executioner of these monsters. Alright, you can have judge and jury, but we're executioner. Alright, we'll see. Brooker's like, I'll fucking kill him first. You think you can do shit? (laughs) Every 20 limbo takes an action. My goal for this session is to get all of the players to yell at me. At one point, if everybody yells at me at least once, I will. This is why you're talking to me about Hearthstone at the beginning of the stream, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) To get the to get the blood boilers. What if we're just yelling in general? Does that count? Just priming. Just priming. Don't make the largest size of cider. Like the medium one, I think, is the way to go. Bear with me one second as I type in some uh, numbers here. 95% of my cipher role-playing is picking up threads of conversation that I dropped five minutes ago. (laughs) And it tends to infect my actual thinking. Alright, when does Riot act? 16. I'm typing this backwards, aren't I? Yes, I am. And Killian. 18. And Liberation. 17. And Serenity. Uh, 22. And Mahogany. 24. Man, I thought I rolled good. That you guys have shown me that I was completely wrong. <laughs> you know, you should be using a different dice. This might be the first time we've seen that everybody got over a fifteen. I, know, I mean, right? you did roll pretty well. It's just usually these guys roll twos and threes. So, <laughs> so these skelly mans come from around the corner. And mahogany, you're up first. Can I roll insight on skeletons? To what end? I want to find out if, like, they're locked on one member of our party and they're going to go in and smack at them. Because um, w- the last thing that Mahogany heard was, we'll send someone down to, to like, take care of things. Yeah, you can And roll. I mean, who this, knows what that could have meant. This is, just to be clear, though, that's your action. Oh, yeah. Listen, I don't want to start a ruckus if these guys are just, like, skeleton barbers. <laughs> Did you just say Skella Barbers? I don't understand why that's what you take issue with. Of all the top things that I've said. <laughs> There's a serial killer in Curse of Strahd that my party has been hunting for a few sessions that is called the Barber. 
So to me, that name has connotations that you were not expecting. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve? They look like they have murderous intent. <laughs> what? Skeletons? All right. Moving or staying put? In that case, I'm going to... Uh, where are they? They're over here at the end of the hallway. Can you not see them? Oh, I didn't see them. Okay, yeah. They're not in invisible case, skeletons. Move forward and... Uh, man, all my cool things are basically prevented by being in this hallway. I'll just be a big bear. Okay. Uh, make. Okay, I need... A couple things are going to happen. First, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, that's, that could have been... That could have dropped earlier. Six. Six. Okay, you are knocked prone. Where? As this door comes flying open. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's less than ideal. He's using the, uh... He's using the... The, the door swings to... Uh... Oh, that's a much bigger skeleton, though. <laughs> Alright, well... Standing on the inside of this room is standing a, as you say, much larger skeleton. The difference between this one and those ones is, first of all, this one, uh, the bones are all black, like obsidian. Like he's made out of stone and not actual bones. The second is, in, again, instead of arms, uh, he has one large appendage that has three joints in it, uh, which gives him considerable reach. And it's, for lack of a better term, it's like a giant meat cleaver. Yikes! And then what happens? Well, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shift into a bear, large bear. Large bear, okay. Yeah. As you remake. shift into bear form, okay. You're used to shifting into bear form, and retaining your personality. It's your brain inside of the body of the bear. Okay. However, this time, as you shift, you feel yourself fading away. You feel losing your hold on what makes you you. So okay. you have a big bear stat block in front of you, correct? I have a, yeah. I've, if, if it's going to matter for personality, I'm a cave bear. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you have those stats at? It's in the monster manual. Uh, let me. I have black bear and brown bear in the monster manual. It's a, uh, it's a, it's under Polar Bear. Polar Bear? Yeah. I didn't know Polar Bears were in this monster manual. Yeah, Polar Bears totally are, and then a variant of Polar Bear is King They're, Bear. They are, that's nice. Okay, so usually when you do your wild shape, first of yeah. all, you retain, like, your intelligence, your wisdom, your charisma. Mm -hmm. This is your stat block now. Okay. This is it. That includes... That includes things like spoken languages, perception, uh, skills, all of it. Okay. For every single possible purpose, you are a cave bear. Do I feel any whatsoever loyalty towards the people at my back? I will leave that up to you. All right. But considering I'm not going to mark my entire party then. You have an intelligence of two. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna. Most them, notably. The cave bear stat block does not enable you to wild shape back. Alright. And... That's fine. I, I wild shape back pretty fast. <laughs> this is the first time you tried to do this in Limbo, huh? Uh, no. Feeling... Yeah. no, I did yeah. something out in the wild. That's going to bring us to Serenity. I'm going to put the stretcher down, okay. move... Now, can I attack through this corner, or is that cover, or not possible? You, I would say no, because he's large. Yeah, and I'm not making any effort oh, to get because, out of your yeah, way. Because and he's, he's, way. And yep. he's prone, too. He was no, not I'm, I'm, I'm not prone. I stood up. I had plenty of movement to do that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so he's not yeah. prone, but he is large. And he looks much more ferocious than you typically... Like, it's, have you ever seen the Disney movie Brother Bear? Like, at the beginning of the movie, the mother bear has, like, regular bear eyes, and at the end, she has, like, the Disney eyes. <laughs> all right, let's yeah. see what happens when I enter this square. Uh, you'll be making a dexterity saving throw, first of all. Can I see the door opening? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you advantage on this roll, because you saw what just happened to Mahogany. Well, I also have advantage on all dex rolls, <laughs> right. things I can see, but that's, uh, that's How'd a you do? seven, I think. That's Double a, se six. a seven? Yeah. Okay, so you are also knocked prone. And there's another, like, I can handle this. There's another meat cleaver skeleton in this room. 
Right now, I'm really regretting ever having made you play uh, Demon's Crest. All right, so I've got half my movement left still. I'll stand up, action okay. trance. Okay. And then take a swing with uh, Reckless Attack and the Skeleton next to me. Now, as you go to heft your maul, you feel the strength that you're used to sapping out of your arms. Your strength, for purposes of swinging this maul, is reduced to six. So that mine is two? Minus two. Okay. Which you offset slightly with your uh, enchanted maul. Well, give me a second to... No, it's not... Uh... What you want to call it? We're not on Mount Celestia. It's not a plus. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you don't get the plus. You just get the light from it. So I have to. Sorry, I have to do a bit of math here to figure that out. Then make a Faco chart. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so that's a plus one. Okay. So that hits an AC of nine. Of nine. Not good. Okay. And your uh, second attack glances off. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve is good. And then for damage as well? Yes. So, plus Barbarian, that'll be just 2d6 naked. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage. And that's the end of Serenity's turn. It's going to bring us to Keelian. Just want to open up by saying there have been no Care Bear jokes yet. I'm a little disappointed. Um, <laughs> how do I? I want to. Is there? A, this is going to be a dumb question. Can I figure out if I'm hallucinating? Because I just drunk from the fountain and now there's skeletons assaulting us. <laughs> Can you figure out if you're real. hallucinating? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not convinced they're there. I'll let you make. You could use your action to make a naked wisdom check. If you believe you're hallucinating and you'd like to imagine them away. <laughs> but that will take your action. I will take my action. Uh, okay. Before I do that, uh, is there any place I can like cover or get or hide anywhere um, from what I can see? So in this room you're standing in, you have the pool, and the pool itself comes up about a foot out of the floor. So you could lay prone behind the pool and block line of sight. Um, <laughs> there's <laughs> where, where, where there's mad. two doors, where there's two doors, and I've seen two teammates get pounced. Okay. There's a doorway here and here on opposite sides of the room, and then there mm -hmm. are two smaller doors, one here and here. And then again on the opposite side over here and here. These are all closed. None of those rooms uh, are open. Actually, you know what? Let me. I can go ahead and delete some of this stuff. And my you... response would have been, it's very dark, but the skeletons also don't have eyes. There. So you've actually got hallways leading into these areas where there are more doors you can see. Uh, uh -huh. You can't see around this corner here or this corner here. This and then there are two smaller doors here. Two locked doors here. If okay. you're looking to break line of sight, laying prone behind or inside of the pool, or just going around a corner, uh, attempting to hide, probably not, because right now they can see you. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do straight wisdom. Okay. This can't possibly be a bad idea. Oh. It's a nine. A nine? Not only do the skeletons look very, very real, but Mahogany looks much more slavering than usual. And you just saw Serenity put all of her force and might into a blow that glanced harmlessly off this skeleton. Yeah, all right. You're seeing thing, a lot of things that don't make sense. Mahogany oh, loves bones. <laughs> He's right away. Get, I can get cover from there. Yeah, if you lay prone behind that pool, that that's oh. you. You have effectively full cover. All right, cool. So you're gonna go back there and lay prone. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna bring us to libations. Okay, so Serenity's got that kind of blocked <clears throat> off. Um, all right then. Um, there's not really much I can do. I mean, I, I could 
hork a dart at it, but that wouldn't do much as far as I can tell, so... Um... So what do you do? I'm trying to think of what else I could do. Drink some more water before it all drains away. Nah. I don't really want to. I don't really want to force Serenity to try and take an attack of opportunity on on both these guys. So, uh, I'm gonna move right up in here and dodge. Dodge there. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna bring us to Riot. All right. Let's see here. Um, first, actually, I have a question. Yeah. Because I can't remember is since last week, we didn't rest at all between. There has been and that, no right? rest. There's been no opportunity yeah. to rest yet. No, we had a we had a short rest on the on the thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I when we were riding the. Uh... Yeah, I spent a couple of hit, hit dice, but I still have my split spell slots. Yeah, when yeah. we were riding the soup kitchen. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about riding the soup kitchen. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about doing this because I know I'm going to get my teammates in the crossfire, but. This is also a pretty tasty grouping of enemies. Okay. So I'm going to try and do a level 1 Thunder Wave on this area. What are the components for Thunder Wave? Is it... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Verbal, but let me check. Because I know a pretty sure... Uh, verbal and Somatic. And as you go to cast the Thunder Wave spell, you <laughs> feel the skin on your lips fuse together, and your mouth is unable now to open. Can I... This might not have anything to do with it. But I want to remind you that I, I think I'm the only member of the group to actually pass that save when we drank the water. I'm aware. Okay. Wait, there was no save when you drank the water. Yeah, there was. We all well, made a save. Yeah, to, we all made a save. To notice effects were happening. Oh, I see. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so... So what so level is Thunder Wave? Level 1. And while you're still able to make gurgling vocalations with your throat, mm -hmm. the spell fizzles out as you're unable to speak the correct words. Okay. Well, go if, I right. if I move back, am I going to provoke an away from this dude? Can no, he because he can't attack through that corner. Yeah. Technically, you're okay. in his threat range, but he can't get you through that corner through Mahogany. Yeah. And I'm, I make, like, I look over at Keely and I make, like, pointing noises, motions at my mouth. And Keely, in looking at Riot's face, uh, you just see like the skin on either side of her mouth fusing together. Like Neo in the first Matrix movie? Yeah, yeah. exactly like that. Alright, Skelling Man. We're going to start with Mahogany. If I don't drop my D20s, and then we're going to move on to Serenity. Mahogany. Yeah. Bear. You see, you watch as the skelly man, one of the bones, he's got just all of these little thin extraneous bones where his rib cage ought to be. One of them uh. snaps off and presses into a long strand of just ligament running down his entire backbone. And it pulls backwards against the bowed structure of the large bone in the front, and he begins firing at you. Ugh! Uh, your AC as a cave bear is 12? Yeah, that's poor. He misses twice. Whoa. Serenity, same thing happens. That's impressive. Oh, actually, yeah, they each get two attacks. Maybe the guy back there won't miss. That's one hit. Two's not going to hit, but the 19 will. So, Mahogany. 10 points, piercing damage. From one of four arrows. Uh, Serenity, you, you attacked recklessly, didn't you? Yes. So now I gotta roll. That doesn't sound like that. A lot more d20s. <laughs> <laughs> and Serenity, what is your AC? 15. 15. 
two hits. Two hits total. Serenity, you will be taking... Ten points, piercing damage from two out of four arrows. So Riot, three of these bone arrows clatter to the ground in front of you in the pool. And Elsie Clone, you dodge a few yourself. Um, as the four Skelling Mans in front of you fire. And now we will do... Oh, did one of them take a shot at me? No, one of them, they okay. took shots at Serenity, but two of the arrows missed her. Okay. Who was the one that shot you. at me? Uh, these two shot at you. Okay. These two shot at Serenity. Now the X Skelling Mans will do Mahogany first. That's going to be a six. That's not going to hit anything. Now Serenity. That's going to be in 22. Cleave at you with the Meat Cleaver for 16 points of slashing damage. And none of the monsters need to move because you're all in the perfect spot for me to continue to butcher you with them. And that's going to bring us back to Mahogany. Alright, well, this dude just uh, shot the hell out of me. Yes, he did. So I'm going to bite the hell out of him. I mean, there's no meat there. It's just. I mean, yeah, but I'm currently thinking if I kill the shit out of this one, that's only one dude on me, and then I can just run. <laughs> okay, so you're biting the little guy in front of you? Yeah. Roll it. Alright, 17. Uh, 17 hits. Damage. That's more than enough to hit. <laughs> That's uh, 9 piercing damage. Okay, that one, it's still up. And a 11. Wait, no. I can't math at all. 13. 13 hits. For 9 slashing. And that skeleton falls apart. Clatters to the ground in just a pile of splintered bones. All right. And now that I've at least lowered the amount of enemies on me, I'm going to fucking get the hell out of here. I'm going to take a reaction first. Uh, 22 will hit. Yep. That was a big roll. 23 slashing damage from the meat cleaver as you turn okay. tail and run. We'll just say he, he lops your little bear tail off. Ah! Uh, <laughs> That's the best and, part! Uh, what did you say was over here? Over where? Over here. There are two doorways up in this area of the room. In fact, let me double check that I can delete some of this up here. I might be able to. It's a very odd shape up here. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I'm good. I can delete some of this. Yes, yeah, so you can see the doorways on either side now. I'm gonna... Bull my way past Keelian. I'm gonna put my back up against this wall. Okay. And then turn around to, to stare at the, the skeletons. Okay. I mean, you just gotta bound over Keelian because he's laying prone on the ground. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna bring us to Serenity. Let's go ahead and do another reckless attack on the one I hit the first time. So, okay. first attack. Uh, 16 on armor class. That is going to hit. For seven damage. And second attack. Okay. Eight on armor class. Not good. That's the end of Serenity's turn. That blow glances off. It's going to bring us to Keelian. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to get up. One. And here... What do I got line of sight on? Uh, you can shoot the two skeletons back here. This one will have partial cover from where you're at, but you can't get a line of sight in either of the doorways. Or you could turn okay. around and shoot mahogany. 
and someone has named them Beat. Great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, everything is the worst. Okay. I just want the record to show that he just said everything's the worst, implying that it cannot get worse. <laughs> you may continue. <laughs> okay. Um. Shoot that guy. Okay. And you level your shot, and no matter how much pressure you put on your finger, you cannot pull the trigger on this bow. <sighs> Fine. Did it just get worse? Be that way. <laughs> Um, joke's on you. I'm not done with my turn. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> cunning action. I'm going to retreat a little bit. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, right there. Hang out next to the tortured Gitzerai. Yeah. Liberation. All right, I'm seeing that Serenity's having problems dropping dropping the the beat down on this guy. I see Mahogany is bearing it up back there, like more so than usual. Um, you saw Keelian just try and fail to take a shot. Right, his lips diffused together. I'll take a deep breath. You want to you want to talk about how it couldn't get worse? I didn't say anything. In that. I, I didn't say anything yet, but I know that <laughs> something bad is about to happen. But let's go ahead and mix it up with uh, this one right here. Okay, roll the hit. And let's see. Here. First hit is gonna hit a tw uh, eleven. No, not even that. Nine. Nine will not hit. How about a uh, twenty-one? Twenty-one will hit. I'm sorry, I used the wrong die. I need to use a d6. Yeah, three damage. Three damage? Um, Constitution save. Let me apply the damage DC first. DC 17. 22. Okay. Never so mind, then I'll just mark off a point there. Attempting to stun him? Yeah. Okay. And that'll bring us to Riot. Well, Liberation went to the spot I didn't want him to go to. So that's on him. You could have told him not to go there if you had a mouse. I, I literally could not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent role-playing. I enjoyed that. Excellent yeah. role-playing, Debbie. <laughs> um, we're going to fire off, or attempt to, an insect plague center to here. Okay. That's invoking my Kajashi fork. Okay, go ahead and spend the charges for that. Okay. Do not roll a... Percentile because it's coming from your fork. Mm -hmm. So what happens now is that pretty much all of these folks, including Liberation and Serenity, need to roll Constitution saves. Go ahead and draw out the radius of that plague. Okay, yeah. Let's see. So from here, it's going to be. This is like crawfish and shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Claw shrimp. Claw shrimp, yeah. Nice! Net something one! Else. Something like that. It does 13. go around it does go around corners. Yes, it does. So I gotta make a save for five of these guys. Yeah. Actually more yeah. than that, because there's more hiding around the corner. <laughs> Man, people gave me shit about my circles. Mm-hmm. That circle looks okay. <laughs> and, I mean considering the tools you have to work with here. Yeah. This is circle ish. You said this is it's a con save? Yes, a constitution save. Okay. And my DC is 18. It's no, 18. wait. It's... What's the Kajashi 4 KC? It's, it's... It'll be based off your wisdom. Oh, okay. Then it's much lower. Unless the stats from the fork said otherwise. I don't think they, they did. They did not. Um, I think it is wisdom-based. Um, that's not my role. I had to put my I had to put my dice down to look up what my wisdom was. So let's see. I think I've probably got two passes. It looks like a 14 is my save. Okay, so I've got 
Yeah, I've got two passes here. Okay. On. That's a decent. This roll, guy that? and this guy. So this is twenty-six. Um. Piercing damage, I suppose. Yeah, piercing damage. Okay. And, and anything that ends its turn there is going to take the same thing, or enters the spell's area for the first time. So that includes liberation and serenity. Yeah. These skeletons all get torn apart by claw shrip, as well as the ones hiding around the corner. You hear them clattering to the ground as well. <laughs> nice. Do these two take half damage? Uh, yes. And, I'm sorry, what was the damage? 26. 26. So they take 13. <laughs> this one also falls apart. And, and Riot raises the fork to the... <laughs> 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 Moving or staying put? Liberation turns around and glare at her. Closer to the Gistrai. Okay. It's going to bring us to... I don't have any more Skelling Mans. I do have the Meat Cleaver, though. I'll take a quick swing at Serenity. Uh, 13's not going to hit, right, Serenity? Nope. All right. He goes wide and hits the floor instead. When does the extra damage from this Claw Shrimp field when you come up? End your turn, when you end, the, end your turn there. Okay. Uh, Mahogany, you're up. So did he just end his turn there? Uh, I'm sure seems like it. Yeah, he did. Oh, Actually, oh. it's not going to matter because you're right. He should. He's going to back away, but then you're going to hit him. So why don't you go ahead and roll and hit him? Uh, hitting is no longer automatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's an 11. 11 what? will not hit. But yeah, he will take a step back out of the claw shrimp. Wait, how'd you roll an 11? Because I have plus one with six strength. Oh, you have six strength. Uh, now it's Mahogany's turn. All right, I'm gonna move up because I can't see any way out of this fucking place, and for whatever reason, I feel safer next to this horrible red girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of, kind of like stand like she's more gray, really. Yeah, this this gray girl, and I'm just kind of, kind of like lean my my side into hers. <laughs> Serenity, okay. what's up? Thank you for action uh, the pets. Yes, you can. I'm gonna pursue. Okay. Out of the claw shrimp field. This thing's looking pretty bad. It's definitely bloodied. That'll hit a six. That'll hit a six. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> that, oh, I got a second attack. Okay. Come on. Get a eight. An eight. That's also not gonna do it. <laughs> Drop the mall in frustration, whip out a hand axe in my offhand, and take a swing. Okay. Does this also have six strength? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Give just with the hand axe just with your main mall. It's a really heavy mall. No bonus to damage because it's an offhand minor action plus eight to hit. Oh, plus two to damage because I'm raging. Okay. Should be with how you're how much you're missing. <laughs> I mean, that's still a 12. I, here's what I just noticed. Maybe nobody else caught it. But Destel's been very clear the entire campaign that he doesn't go into a barbarian rage. He goes into a cypher action trance. Until just now. <laughs> that he described as raging. <laughs> <laughs> Moving or staying put? Uh, let's see in the turn. All right. Killian, what's up? He's still alive. Uh, if you enter that... Okay, well, I can't warn you about it. <laughs> yeah. There are make claw that, shrimp everywhere. Yeah, Does make this that end circle? Make that... No, if you enter it, not if you, like... Uh, if you end your turn on this square, you'll take the damage from claw shrimp, yes. Not not the one that these two are standing on, but this one. I'm kind it of also said eyeballing A creature it. must also make this saving throw when it enters the spell's area or ends its turn there. Yeah, and so Keely so, will be making a saving throw if it enters the area there. Yeah. There's there's no way to not take damage if you walk into the claw yeah. And I don't recommend it. I'm saving the moment when I yell at you, because <laughs> I know it's going to happen, so... Um, I, 
like I'm no, there's just no angle. There's just nothing I can do. So I'm I'll just run over there. Okay. Why don't you open that uh, no full door? defense? I'm sure that'll work out really well. Liberation. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close over here. Okay. Press myself into that corner and start bashing a skeleton. Do it. How does a ooh, 25 do? 25 will hit. For uh, six damage. For six damage? Okay. Yep. Second swing. Uh, uh, that's not so good. Uh, 14. 14 hits. And let's do another 6 damage, so 12 all, all told. Okay. Punching the set, punching a skeleton. Why and not? you finish him off. Clatters to the ground. His giant bone meat cleaver resounding through the halls. Those of you standing by the pool, as soon as the, the bones, the sound of their clatter echoing in the hallway fades, you see arcane runes appear on the double doors just beyond the pool. Uh, and they're written in a circular pattern. In the center of the circle is a large, kind of like Kingdom Hearts style, cartoonishly oversized keyhole. But you can't see through it. Looking into it, it's just blackness. So now the room has a little bit of illumination as these bluish white runes have appeared in a circular pattern around this keyhole. Shut the right. Shout to Riot, hey Riot, can you dismiss these claw shrimp? And Riot says, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> dismiss it if you can, otherwise, Serenity and I are taking, are, are, are taking a nap in here. Um, Riot's going to walk up to the edge of the area and make a. So you're going to listen to see if, to try and hear if there's anything else moving around. Okay, make a perception check. Okay. Hoggity kind of po pokes a claw at the claw shrimp. He's like, I, I know fish. <laughs> uh, ah! This is a 22. 22. Okay, give me one second, and I will describe what you hear. You hear the scuttling of claw shrimp. I mean, you, yeah. oh, I mean over the sound of the scuttling of claw yeah. shrimp, clearly. <laughs> Hogany cuts his paw and goes, <laughs> You hear a faint echo of something crying out in anger. It's very faint, and it's coming from back this direction, and it's coming from somewhat above you. And you can't discern words. The echo has deteriorated the actual mm -hmm. words. But something scary is in that direction. As far as your immediate vicinity, it sounds silent except for the scuttling of 10,000 claw shrimp. Okay. Then I'll silence that part and dismiss the spell. Okay, and the spell is dismissed. Serenity will pick up her maul, look at it inquisitively. Does it still feel unnaturally heavy in my hand? It doesn't feel any different than normal. It's only when you go to swing, your strength leaves you. Riot walks Liberation over here. Swaggers nope. outside the, uh, the room. Wait, wait. And, blo and like, blocks this, this corridor and, like, shakes her head and, like, holds her arms to her side. Like, <laughs> no. Like, don't, don't come back here. Okay. <laughs> Mahogany sticks his nose into Riot. And Riot gives a little pat. <laughs> we have canonically determined that petting the bear is a free action. Yeah. Liberation comes out of the room, glaring at Riot the entire way. Bahogany turns towards Liberation, sees the growl, and growls at him. <laughs> Does anybody think that Mahogany's acting a little weird? No. He seems to be a bear. <laughs> he see, does he seem? He seems a little more bearish than usual, though. Right, it's a pretty big bear. Scratches behind the ears. Your crossbow didn't work, Killian? Couldn't pull the trigger. Uh, I know, right? Like, it weighs 100 tons as soon as I try and swing it. I don't feel any different from before, but... That could that could change at any moment. I'm not... I'm feeling a little bit of... Do you have a melee thing. weapon? Uh, Liberation holds up his fist. Yeah, I've got a... Killian shows a short sword. Okay. 
Qué gris. Can I try it? So you. That's ugly. Um. Mm hmm. Should, what do you not? Why shouldn't we go up there? Mm mm. -mm. Mm -hmm. Did you not put any ranks into perform mime? What kind of bard are you? Liberation pulls out the uh, yeah. Let's let me, let me. Slate. Oh, you, you got a chocolate? Yeah, yeah a chocolate. Pulls out okay, a chocolate that he's had right. since on him. Eagerly, <laughs> eagerly snatches it away and starts writing. Something, something bad behind me. Don't go there. And now that it's kind of quiet in the hall, you all can hear the echoing from that. It sounds like something. Very scary is yelling out in distress. But you said something upstairs. Serenity is saying that she's moving towards the front. Um, can I read the runes here? Are they in the legible language? They read The key is as empty as the lock. And I'll I'll write that down on the slate. Okay. So, starting to go to the door that we came in through? Standing at the door, uh, the doors had slammed shut as the lights go down. And what you notice, though, is that the two walls that you saw coming in are gone, leading to spiral staircases leading down to the basement level beneath you. If I try and pull the door open? It doesn't budge. Sealed. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Stairs going down, probably where the skeletons came from. I think we should probably just leave him here. It seems safer than whatever's crawling around the tower. If we figure this out, we can come back and get him. Right. Okay. Raise an eyebrow at that. No, I'm... It's well, safer than carrying him. him into combat. And she'll kind of... Actually, I'm going to take him. I'm going to put him in this empty room. Okay. And then close the door. Is there any way to seal it from the other side, a bar or anything? Uh, from, from the inside, you mean, or the outside? From the outside. There's not a bar or anything, but you've got big, heavy meat cleaver bones laying in the ground. You could lean up against well, I it. I mean, that would just seal them in there, so I'll just leave them in there. <laughs> and no notices them. Okay. Hogany Best I can do. Jock and goes to eat it. All right, what's and next? Riot points over here and, and shrugs his shoulders. Points over uh, here. He sees the point. And starts Nod. Yep. See, looking around this corner into this room. Looks like a dining hall, or it would be on better days. The tables are smashed and splintered. The center of the room... Uh, as you're coming into this hallway, this wave of stench, just this oppressive... Uh, wave of stench hits you like a hammer and looking into the room you see some kind of giant rotting carcass laying in the center of the room swarming with maggots four of which are not only unusually large but also bloated and pussing uh, and they have large grasping tentacles coming off of their faces that they're using How to tear strips of flesh large? away how large is it? Like, large size. Like, larger than you. Oh. And there's four of them in this room, gorging themselves. They seem to have noticed that we've approached? Not from there, no. So he'll kind of shake her head no and motion for everyone to move back. Mm-hmm. Mahogany sees it and growls at it. It's a free action to pet the bear, but it's not a free action to growl. <laughs> I mean, Serenity will do the best she can to kind of, like, just keep Mahogany from sidling past her, and at this point she realizes something's up. Mahogany, get back! She'll, like, give the bear a push at this point. At the push, Mahogany backs up. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. What's, right. what's what's going on with the uh, with the, the fountain here? By now, all of the water has drained away, uh, and looking into it, you see 
just this metal grate in the center. And looking inside the grate, it's unnatural blackness, just like the inside of the keyhole. Okay. But the bottom of it is now bone dry. What's next? Let's check one of these doors. And open the door to my south. This one here? Yep. And it opens into uh, a small bedroom. And looking at the bed, it feels unnaturally hot. Like heat is radiating from the bed. Other than that, it looks pretty normal. Uh, there's a window just behind the bed, like a thick glass pane, through which you can see uh, the chaos stuff of Limbo. But it seems distorted somehow. Step inside? Do I feel like painfully hot or just... No, warm? just warm. Like something... Like the bed is radiating heat. Oh, is the bed like made or there covers and whatnot on it? It is. I'll pull open the covers. And you pull aside the covers, and you look in, there's no mattress laying there. Instead, it's just a pit of boiling mud. Wow, okay. Like in the floor? Or no, in, like the, in the bed frame. Okay. Huh. I'm going to open this door. Before Temper you do that... Mm-hmm. Looking uh, down the length of the hall is a round chamber with that round table sitting in the center and eight chairs around the side of it. And this is where the sounds were coming from. And this has a spiral staircase leading up. Yeah, like you, you told me that they were coming from back here and up. Yep. So, and right. opening so let's this open room. Door. Uh, looks like a storage closet. Looking in here, you've got... Uh, at first glance, nothing of value. Just junk, debris, but there's a glint of gold over here in the back corner. I'm going to search, well, I'm going to search the rest of the room first and save that gold for last. Okay. I'm going to lean over the bed and tap on the window. It's glass. This doesn't sound at all unusual. Nope. It looks thicker than usual, but you expect that's just... Uh, to defend against maybe the chaos stuff of Limbo. They just m make windows thicker here. But I'm no, gonna... Oh, sorry. Searching the rest of the room, just junk, debris. Nothing that was even remotely useful. Like, you're not even finding broken brooms and mops. You're finding just twisted bits of metal and piles of disgusting feathers and just nothing at all useful. Uh, Serena's gonna pull one of the magical javelins out of her harness and stab it through the window. Stab it through the window? Yep. With the intention on breaking it? Yep. Okay. Uh, Why? Yeah, make a strength check. What up? <laughs> so sorry. I'm going to investigate this gold then. You move some of the large pieces of debris around, and Why? it's a large what is up box with the physics on this table? made out of know. solid gold. I locked and latched on the front. A seven? A seven? This is claiming it's a two, but that just doesn't seem right. The angle it's sitting at, not the the fact that I rolled two. Seven doesn't get through the window. Can I try again? Sure. I think nine. I think the dice is trying to tell you something. <laughs> you're you're putting deep gouges in the window, but it's not cracking or breaking. It's getting there. It's just a really tough window. <laughs> so any of you guys think the offhand that could have made? On your third failed attempt, maybe a cipher would think something about this. <laughs> so yeah, it's a magical javelin. Be Beautiful fun. golden treasure box sitting in the corner of this room. So <laughs> any of you guys think the uh, Al Qaeda deck order might have met with some uh, some foul play? I'm getting that vibe right now. I'm gonna roll a perception smell check to see if there's anything good to eat in this room. I just I can't get a good angle when I have to lean over this hot. Bed. That's what do you want to do? stop breaking things. Riot is going to go pull Keelian toward this golden chest. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. 
and then stand back while he probably tries to open it. <laughs> Is there anything other than the bed in this room? No. Okay. It's a golden chest? Made out of gold. Chest. Like, you're looking at it. It's not like a wooden or iron chest with gold bands. It's made out of plates of gold. All right, before Keeling gets to work on the chest, he smacks it with a sword. Okay, and you hear <laughs> the sound of your sword rebounding off the metallic chest. Can't be too careful. Fool me once. Shame on you. <laughs> All right, let's get to work on this on this chest. Right, sounds good. Roll uh, uh, <sighs> you say initiative? That's exactly what I said. Everybody can roll yep. this initiative. Yeah. Unless you want to just leave Keely into it alone. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, I kind of right do now. want to just leave Keely into it alone. I'll roll initiative so that I know at what point I can leave Keely into it alone. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you acting on? 19. 19. Keely in. 23. <laughs> <laughs> Keely was waiting for it. Yep. <laughs> Liberation. 17 again. Oops. Serenity? Uh, Serenity acts at uh, 15. And the other guy. 22. Haga bear. Killian. Mm-hmm. As soon as you touch the chest, as mm. soon as you put your lock picks in there, predictably, mm. it opens up and it has teeth and a tongue. The tongue lashes out at you. And nine's not going to hit. No, nine will not hit. Because this is like the 80th or 90th mimic that you fought now. <laughs> I, hit, I hit it with my sword because I thought it was a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you open chests now. It's, it's, <laughs> trying to Fonzie that chest open. <laughs> but apparently, this is how we got to do this. So, so you're kind of expecting something terrible to happen, and lo and behold, something terrible does happen. Unlike <laughs> other mimic chests that you've seen, it's not just the teeth, it's not just the tongue, but tentacles unwrap from the cavity in the top and bottom of the chest, and they lash out and try to grab your arm, but you definitely smoothly leap backwards. Uh, Keelian, you're up first. I'm going to shoot an arrow right in its big, open, treasure mouth chest. Okay. Treasure chest mouth, that's what I wanted to say. And you lower your crossbow down, and for uh, the life of you, you cannot pull this trigger. Right, I have a sword I should be using. Yeah, that, whatever. That, that's your action. What's next? Cunning, cunning action, disengage, and okay. move back. And Liberation, you see this look of just disappointment on Keelian's face. Like, he's mad at himself, really. Well, see, now I see Ke I saw Keelian not be able to shoot before, and then I see him try it again. I'm like, what'd you think was going to happen? I just give him that look, you know? Mahogany, you're up. Mahogany pushes forward. Past Keelian. And if I'm reading this map right, he's so massive that he shuts the door. And then he just <laughs> kind of paws at it. So you <laughs> accidentally <laughs> closes the door. Okay. <laughs> Riot, what's up? <laughs> Riot goes over and, and, and strokes Mahogany's back to or try and calm him down. I'm gonna. We're gonna take Liberation's turn, but I gotta go find out what my stupid dog is barking at. I'll be right back. Whisper soothing words into him. Mahogany lightly growls. <laughs> well, actually, I can't whisper soothing words to him. I can only pet him. <laughs> Yeah, there was Get a, your throat chanting down. There was a yeah. bird or something outside. Edgar okay. wanted to murder it. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, Liberation, you're up. Um, look at 
look at uh, Keely and like, what's what's in there? What happened? What do you think is in there? I don't know. It's a mimic. A mimic. A mimic. Okay. Of course it's a mimic. It's always a mimic. <laughs> you didn't learn from the last one you ran into? Man. Right, just oh. shakes her head sadly. Looks like the looks like the door is shut, so maybe he'll go back to sleep. I don't know. Is anybody intending on opening the door and going in and confronting the mimic? <laughs> Listen, if I can figure out how this son of a bitch works, <laughs> I'm, I'm going in there. Make an intelligence check. <laughs> I think Burkra did point out earlier that that his is intelligence is two. Dumpster, is a hey, oh, hey no. that's a that's a sixteen. <laughs> wow! You get your paw <laughs> up and around the latch on the door, and you manage to get it to click, but your weight is still pressed against it. So you found the latch, and you could work the latch. Behind his eyes, beating on it like. <laughs> So, is, is anybody... Let me put this together. I guess it's Serenity. Are you planning to go confront the Mimic? Um, when they say there's a Mimic in there, Serenity's like, can we just bar the door? It's not barred right now, it's bared. <laughs> and... Re... Well, it's not right, Serenity. We don't need but to worry about Serenity's initiative. Action. We're going to come off oh. initiative unless somebody oh, opens okay. the door up. And right, right sound on the slate. Remember that we are looking for a key. Mahogany looks at Riot, puts his hand on the lever again, and then puts his force down enough so that it makes the click again, and then looks at her. <laughs> <laughs> and and his tail starts going. You don't have Riot one. Looks, it got cleaved I, off. His butt starts wagging back and forth a little. <laughs> Riot kind of like gently leads him away from the door. She's, she's like, he's not in great shape. I don't... Right, well, while while you do the that, the door gets clicked at least four more times. And then <laughs> each time I look at you like... <laughs> What's next? Okay. Ooh, might, as well, might as well go... Oh, um... Is, is there a way into this? Is there a door over here? There's not. Instead, it is a staircase oh. going up. Okay, well I don't want anything to do with that yet. From the basement? No, from this level, going up to the second level. Oh, okay. And so this one, then, so this looks like this staircase goes up too? At the I'm, end I'm the sorry? Hall, at the end of the hall, does the staircase up down here go up too? Uh, yes. Oh, you know what? No, actually, my bad. I got that backwards. This one goes down and these ones go up. This one goes to the basement. This one goes up to the second floor. Okay. So if you want to go up, you're either going to use the, the table room, or you're going to use the ones by the entrance. If you want to go down, you're going to use this straight one. I right, got that right, back on, on her slate. Um, she writes, like, mimic maggot stairs, and hands it over to Serenity, and, like, motions to circle one. Serenity circles the stairs. And Riot takes the slate back and gives it to Keelian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we uh, could just speak if we're voting. <laughs> he looks, yeah, he looks at the door. At, uh, Killian. Killian looks at the door where the mimic is being held. Really wants to kill that mimic. But instead he says, stairs. Up. Mm -hmm. And, right, passes the slide over to Liberation. And he gestures toward the, uh, toward the um, spiral staircase up. All right, shakes her head and shrugs and says, walks over to the stairs. We're going upstairs. Starting to lead hand axes out. Before we go, I'm gonna I'm going to double back real quick. Check okay. on this guy. And he's still unconscious, still bound to the stretcher. But I mean, he's still all his joints are still powderized. He's still got burns. He's not having a good day. He already wasn't having a good day, and then you guys showed up. I'm going to swing this door shut here. I'm going to swing this door shut over here across the hall. Okay. And then come back to the group. All right. Let me save this table. Load up this one and make sure that I'm doing the right thing here. You should always do the right thing. All right. 
So, you're climbing this tower staircase, and there's no railing on the inside of it. You've got this kind of five foot wide path going around, which means Mahogany, you're having a hell of a time just staying on the stairs. 